the Gala Tura, the Ker Jara, and the resurrection of Anana. In the annals of Mesopotamian mythology, one of the most poignant and revealing stories is that of Anana's descent to the underworld and her subsequent resurrection. The goddess Anana, also known as Ishtar in Akkadian traditions, occupied a central role in Sumerian religious thought. To truly understand this tale's significance, we must delve deep into its symbolic elements and the characters who played pivotal roles in it. The story revolves around Anana's decision to visit the underworld, which was ruled by her sister, Ereshkigal. Anana's descent is symbolic of many things, the ebb and flow of nature, the cyclicality of life and death, and the personal journeys we undertake into the depths of our psyche. However, the descent proves dangerous for Anana. Despite her divine status, she is judged, killed, and her corpse is hung on a hook. Enter the Gala Tura and the Ker Jara. These two figures are not major deities but rather servants or creations of the god Enki. Enki, the god of wisdom, water, and creation, is compassionate towards Anana and crafts these beings out of dirt from beneath his fingernails, imbuing them with a singular purpose, to save Anana. Now, while their names are not as widely recognized as the goddess they sought to save, the Gala Tura and the Ker Jara's roles are pivotal. Their very nature and creation convey profound spiritual and philosophical ideas. Created from the dirt beneath the god's fingernails, they represent the idea that even the smallest, seemingly insignificant aspects of the divine can manifest great power and purpose. They weren't endowed with the glamour of major deities, yet their task was of utmost importance. The Gala Tura and the Ker Jara enter the underworld. Here, their method is not one of confrontation but of empathy and understanding. They find Ereshkigal, the queen of the underworld, in the throes of agony, bearing the pains that come with her position. Instead of challenging her directly, they mirror her emotions, demonstrating compassion. This act of empathy endears them to the otherwise implacable ruler of the dead. In gratitude, Ereshkigal grants them a boon. They request Anana's body, and with it, they sprinkle the food and water of life, reviving the fallen goddess. However, the underworld operates on a principle of balance. Anana's resurrection is not without cost. The Gala demons, emissaries of Ereshkigal's wool, insist that another must take Anana's place in the realm of the dead. This aspect of the tale, often leading to a further series of events involving Anana's loyal followers and even her unfaithful consort Dumuzi, speaks to the idea of balance, reciprocity, and the inevitable price of life and rebirth. What can we extract from this ancient narrative? At a cursory glance, it is a tale of gods, death, and resurrection. But when examined closely, it's a narrative that pushes us to recognize the value of compassion, even in the direst situations. The unlikely saviors, the Gala Tura and the Ker Jara, show that every being, no matter how insignificant they seem, has a role in the cosmic narrative. Their method of saving Anana was not through brute force but through understanding and empathy, signaling that these qualities are potent forms of magic in their own right. Moreover, the insistence of the Gala demons on balance, on a life for a life, reminds us of the interconnectedness of all things. Nothing is without consequence, and every action, especially one as significant as resurrection, has a price. In concluding, let's reflect on our own journeys. History and its tales are mirrors reflecting the human condition across epochs. While we may not be gods or mythical beings, we each have our underworlds to navigate, our challenges to face. Yet, within us, there's the potential of the Gala Tura and the Ker Jara. The potential to approach life's complexities with understanding, empathy, and purpose. Remembering our past, the tales of Anana and her saviors, encourages us to forge ahead. Knowing that even in the darkest corners, inner standing and compassion can reignite the spark of life. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.